Hi, Lori here to talk about what you can expect from Business 199. First of all, we have some learning objectives that are outlined in the syllabus, and some of them are highlighted here. We also have our own fifth objective, which is to make sure we have fun, and we're going to try and start doing that today in class. And what you'll need to bring to class each and every time, here they are. Most important, please bring your notes so that you can do well on the quizzes and your textbooks so we can use them in the class exercises that will take place. Our 75 minutes will be split up um, mostly. We will be doing exercises, but we will dedicate a small portion to a quiz that on the video and reading that you will be doing before class. Be sure to bring your notes, as I said. Class will be chaotic, a little bit loud, a little bit crazy, and that's all good. As you can see, we want you to ask questions. Let us know if you are or are not having fun, and give us your honest feedback on each and every class because that helps us set up the class for the future better. And we also want you to try to get your random quarter points early. We do know that certain things that students do lead to mastery of the material. So the item identified in blue is what we know works, and the items in green are the ones that we know are or we're including in the class to incentivize that behavior. So if we want you to attend class and participate, we're going to offer fun prizes, snacks, our company, random quarter points. Or if we want you to read the chapters and view the lectures at the same time that we're covering the material in class, we're going to have to offer daily content quizzes to keep you on track. We want you to use new knowledge and practice new skills. The best way to do that is give you small and large group exercises and have discussions during class time. If we want you to work with the material to figure out where you understand it where you don't, we've built in six game days so just for that purpose. And then finally we know that in order for you to master the material you really need to study it um, and so we have two exams to incentivize that. Where does fun fit in? Well research says students having fun learn more and we can have fun while also being serious about learning and finally with 150 minutes together why wouldn't we want to? Your grade is based on 20 points for the content quizzes that will be given in class and another 20 points for in-class exercises. So obviously attending class is very important to your grade. We then have 30 points for each of the two exams, a midterm and a final exam. We do hope to offer extra credit opportunities throughout the semester, but I would focus on these 100 points here and that is where your grade is made or broken. The class schedule is posted on our websites, um, but rule of thumb, if it's a Tuesday or a Thursday afternoon, you should be here in the classroom with us unless it's fall break or the long Thanksgiving weekend. Midterm exam will be given on 10-10 and the final exam is during finals week. Random quarter points are earned for, and count towards extra credit. You can get up to six random quarter points um, towards your grade, which can move your grade in one and a half points, which is very helpful. And you get these things. Um, random quarters for giving out a good answer, a good question, helping other students, helping us, uh, pushing yourself, moving outside your comfort zone. Anything that improves class engagement is eligible for a random quarter point. We assess our instruction through the feedback forms that you fill out after every class, the feedback that you give us after each exam and the class evaluations at the end of the term. We assess your learning through the content quizzes, the exercises for each chapter, and the two exams. Many people want to add, often ask me what goes in the notes. Well, these are the things that I think you should focus on when creating your notes. It's very important to pay attention to the learning objectives at the beginning of the, of the chapter and to the summary at the end of the chapter to make sure you haven't missed something important. Exams will be a mix of questions, as you can see. We can hold review sessions outside of class. We usually try to help them hold them online because that seems to be more popular. But uh, if we get a tremendous demand, we can do an in-class um, and outside of class in-person one. We do test because we need you to understand what you are or are not getting, and we also need to do the same. Academic honesty, our policy is if your name is on it, it needs to be your work 100%, and the usual university sanctions apply. Classroom etiquette, here we go. Let's arrive on time. Be prepared. Be respectful of others. People are going to have differing opinions, and we want to make room for that. Cell phones have a real purpose in this class, um, but if you could only use them for official use, unless we're on a texting break, that would be great. And finally, not everybody wants to meet in discussion groups, so we have to put the classroom back the way we found it. We have three websites that we'll be using. One is Moodle, one is businesscanbeablast.com, uh, and then the third is the Business Can Be A Blast channel on YouTube. Thanks for listening.